Assalamu alaikum. Inshallah, today we are going to tell you the story of an incident that took place in the life of our Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One day, a Bedouin entered Medina. Bedouins are people who live in the deserts or the surrounding areas. He went directly to the masjid as he knew the Prophet would be present. He was looking forward for some money or gold from the Prophet. As expected, the Prophet was present in the masjid when he arrived. Without wasting any time, the Bedouin raised his requests. The Prophet, without hesitating, gave him some money. He was not content with what he received. Moreover, he used harsh and inappropriate language against the Prophet the followers present there got very angry when they heard this, but the Prophet stopped them from hurting the Bedouin. The Prophet took the Bedouin to his home and gave him some more money. The Bedouin became content with what he received and thanked the Prophet. The Prophet then told him, You used harsh language yesterday, which has caused anger in my followers. I fear that they will hurt you. Would you be willing to show your appreciation in front of them? so that their anger be resolved and they don't hurt you? The Bedouin answered yes. The next day, the Bedouin came to the masjid. The Prophet addressed his companions. This man says he is content with his share. Then he asked the Bedouin, is it true? Yes, the man replied. He then repeated his appreciation that he shared with the Prophet. The followers were satisfied with his reply and they smiled. After the Bedouin left, the Prophet addressed the gathering. This man is like a camel running away from his master. The master kept chasing the camel and when the people saw this, they too started running behind the camel. The camel ran faster when he saw the people. The owner called on the people and said, Please, leave my camel alone. I know better how to calm it. When the people stopped chasing the camel, the owner followed it calmly, with a fistful of grass. Then, without the need for running and yelling, the camel returned to its master. The followers realized their mistake and apologized. This is just one of many examples in the life of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam on how he dealt with those who opposed him the prophet faced constant threats abuse and humiliation at the hands of those threatened by his simple but profound message he showed mercy to all human beings regardless of their religious racial cultural or ethnic background we as his followers must live and spread this message today at a time when hatefulness and ugliness towards each other has become the norm.